Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I had a question asked on how can you create a drawing that pops out of a frame. Now I've made some videos on how you can create frames um, or uh, panels in your comic book page using Clip Studio Paint. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can see that video. But one thing that um, you can, uh, when you create a frame in Clip Studio Paint, when you draw inside the, the frame folder, it will mask off anything outside the frame so you can't draw outside the frame. So w if you want to uh, break a panel, um, like in most modern comic books, there is you have to do it kind of different um, and I'll show you uh, how I do it here is a page from one of my uh, comic books that I'm working on and you can see here on the first panel up here uh, this character uh, Gabriel his elbow is popping out of the frame here and then here in uh, this third panel his hair is uh, popping out on kind of the side of his head um, and I do that just to give it kind of a, a 3D feel, um, just uh, to make it seem like it's popping out. Uh, I think it adds uh, an artistic value to it. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. So I'm going to open up a blank canvas here and I'm going to put down some frames just so we can have some frames to work with something like this and like this I'm just making stuff up here but it'll all work the same uh, no matter how how you want to do it uh, you don't have to do square frames you can do how whatever frames you want but it's basically gonna work the same so let me collapse these uh, frame folders or panels. So uh, let's let's put something in this one here. So, or actually, let's go from the beginning. So if you notice here, like I said before, um, if you work in this uh, panel frame uh, folder. They, there is a raster layer inside there and that's where you're going to be drawing your uh, drawing uh, so let's let's say you have a, a little man here and what you want him to do is to to punch he's like he'll be punching his way through uh, wherever and so his legs over here and what you can see is that no matter how much I try to draw in the purple area here, it's not it's not letting me. And so the character is kind of cut off, but you want him you want his hand over here to be punching outside and maybe his foot too like coming down here. Right? So how do we do that? Well, this is the way you have to do it. If you want the hand to be popping up in front of this frame here, which is this one here, if you want his hand to be popping out right here, and you want his leg to be popping in front of this panel here, so there's two panels you want. What you have to do is, or this is the way I do it, you have to think about it and create a folder up here in this icon here where it's a it's a little folder with the paper on the corner here create a folder on top you want to create that folder on top of the two frames or actually the the three frames that are gonna go on top so these three frames here I created a folder right above it now inside this folder I'm gonna go ahead and take this raster layer that was where I draw I drew the the character I'm gonna 
put that raster layer in the folder. Now you can see all the stuff that I drew outside the mask, right? So this is the stuff that I was drawing, but you couldn't see it because the mask was uh, hiding it. So I'll just erase some of this stuff that I was just scribbling. But this is basically what I want. I want his leg uh, popping here, but I don't want it to pop uh, this back leg here. I want it to stay in the frame, almost as though he's popping outside of the frame, right? So that's how uh, I would pop a character outside of uh, outside of the frame. Now there, there are things that, um, yeah, that's how you do it. The thumb would be inside. Let's see here. Um, now, um, there are things that you need to do to say that, uh, in this particular example, there's nothing really that's touching the edge of the the edge of the frame. Uh, besides this part here, this little um, besides this little foot here, that's the only thing we're gonna have to cut off. And what I mean is, um, hold on, let me let me show you. If I clean this up a little bit, so his knee is going to be here, and his foot is like that. Now you'll notice that because I want his leg, this this back leg here, to be uh, still inside the frame. You'll notice that I won't draw it. Um, complete because if I if I keep drawing it it'll be outside the frame but I want it inside the frame but what you'll notice is that um, if I go and attempt to color it in fact let me just use the, the lasso tool if I use this this lasso tool here that's called shrink selection if I select this thing uh, this character the lasso tool is going to outline the character but what you'll notice here is that because this is incomplete here even though you see a frame in fact let me make the frame invisible you see that this is not closed off now that that could be a problem especially when you uh, if you're gonna want to color uh, your character then that's going to become a problem because again it's not closed off even though it looks closed off when you when you turn the frame on uh, so what I like to do is I go, I go to the frame uh, folder and I lower the opacity it doesn't matter what I just need it to be a little bit lighter than the drawing so now go back to the folder that you created and the raster layer where your drawing is and basically I just take the line tool and I just close it off and I keep the line inside the frame oops that's tapered let me keep that let me do a thin line so basically all I want to do is uh, close off any any area where uh, the character so now anything the whole outline of the character is closed off that's that's what I want uh, to do right because now I can go back to the selection tool and I'll still use the shrink selection and what I'll do is I'll create a new layer and put it below the line layer. So now uh, 
in the raster layer where the drawing is, you use your shrink selection uh, lasso tool. And now the whole character outline is selected. So you go to your new raster layer, the one that is below the line art. And I'm just gonna use white paint. And I'm just gonna use this bucket tool to fill it. And what you'll notice is that um, the you can see that the lines of the border have been um, removed. In fact, I'll go back to the, the frame folder and increase the opacity back to normal, 100%. And you can see that uh, the leg is now on top of the uh, gutters here, and also the arm is above the gutters. So now that your character looks like it's popping out of the um, out of the frame not only popping out of the frame but also on top of two other frames now remember again you have to think about um, which particular um, body parts or whatever whatever you want popping out of the frame you have to think about um, where you want to place that new created folder because if I were just to place that folder below this frame you can see that the leg now is underneath the frame so um, the order at which these folders are uh, stacked is important um, again you can if you want you can put it at the very top which gives the folder um, first priority which means it'll be on top of everything but it's not really necessary because uh, the drawing is really not on top of these three lower folders so it really doesn't make a difference I mean you can still do it but all I need it is to be on top of this particular folder because that's the uh, where the leg is and I need it to be on top of this uh, folder because the hand is on top of that and then of course I need it to be on top of the very folder itself um, where the characters were coming out of now, uh, this also helps out with just a little extra. Um, if you go back to the folder where the character is and create a new raster layer in that folder, what I like to do is now you can add backgrounds to it. Um, if you want, you can draw something, a background. This is kind of small for me. I wouldn't draw a background, but you can if you want. Um, you can put um, a buildings, you know. And you'll notice that um, you can't see the lines behind the character. And that is because your character is on this folder up here. See, here's the line art. And here's the color. And in fact, if I remove the color from the character, you can now see the lines of the building again right behind him. See, so that's what I like about uh, doing this type, this doing it this way. So go back down to the border folder and again you can draw backgrounds or if you want you can um, you can do a gradient usually that's what I like to do is a gradient um, it doesn't matter I'm just whatever and we put this gradient here um, and you'll notice that it won't it, it won't go outside of the border um, because it's it's behind the mask so it won't it won't exceed the border uh, you can also do something like this a punching action you can do um, this this right here called the scattered uh, where it's kind of like speed lines and again because you put that white paint underneath the character and because this uh, border folder is below the, the, the characters folder it's going to be behind them and it will not um, exceed the, the border so you can do uh, many uh, different things um, as far as the background uh, of, of that and you could also um, uh, just blind the folder with your character just make it invisible 
and just uh, freely work on your background. Um, it doesn't matter because you will have no distractions in front of you. You can uh, completely draw every every detail of the background um, and then turn on the character and there it is. Um, so whatever is behind the character uh, you probably will probably waste some time because you don't have to draw this stuff because the character is in front. But it does help uh, to be accurate. But either way, that's how um, I draw uh, characters or, or objects popping out of the frame. I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I make uh, these Clip Studio Paint tutorial videos. If you got any suggestions, leave uh, comments on any of my videos. If I see your comment, I will try to explain it as best I can. And if I can't explain it, I'll make a video of uh, showing you how to do it. If, if I know how to do it. Um, so yes, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.